Hey guys, this is Gnome with the 2D data recording uh, data analysis for Chuck Walla. This time it's going to be with my lab compared to Jason Pridmore uh, at Chuck Walla. And also this time it's going to be counterclockwise. So this is going to be very similar to the first video <clears throat> that I did comparing uh, my lab versus a world superbike rider on the track. So first of all, right now we're looking at uh, Jason Pridmore's lap. Uh, the data up here, so again we have up here at the top we'll have uh, miles per hour down below it we have lean angles below that we have uh, throttle in uh, in green and below that here we have rpm uh, again anytime that uh, I, I uh, move my mouse around any of these areas we could see the numbers changing here that's what I'm reading off to get the exact num values of miles per hour lean angle throttle rpm okay so the first thing we we could take a look at is um, you know lean angles. Let's look at his lean angles in flat turns. So non-cambered turns at Chakwala, the non-camber the cambered turns are the bull, obviously. Um, you know we have a lot of banking over there, so it's kind of we're not comparing apples and apples. So I can't compare turn 16, which is completely flat, and the lean angles to the bull because in the bull we could achieve like 60 degree lean angle, but on flat um, flat turns that have no camber, you know at 60 degree lean angle, you know you might fall. Uh, so again, I want to compare all the flat non-camber turns. So the camber turns are the bull turn 12, believe it or not, if you walk the track, turn 11, turn 10 is cambered, turn 9 is off cambered, and besides that, besides all those turns, the rest of the turns are pretty flat. So we'll compare those. So let's compare turn 16, uh, which is flat. Turn 16, he achieves 50, 55 uh, degree lean angle. Turn f uh, 15, he achieves 49. Uh, turn 14, he achieves 47. Uh, again, the bull we're going to skip. We can't compare. Uh, turn 12, 11, we can't compare. Turn 9, I don't want to compare because it's off camber. Uh, turn 8 uh, is uh, 48 degrees lean angle. Turn 6 and 7, which he connects nicely at like a pretty consistent lean angle, but his maximum is uh, 49.9. Turn 5 and 4. Again, he connects with a very consistent lean angle that connects those turns, uh, achieving a maximum of 49.4 degree lean angle. Turn three, 50 degree lean angle, and turn two, 48.8. Okay, so again, we're kind of seeing that on flat turns, he's anywhere between 49 to 50 degree lean angle. Um, that's what he chose to uh, do with my bike. Uh, that of course he didn't want to crash because um, who wants to, to crash um, somebody else's bike, right? So we can assume that he probably uh, will will go to higher lean angles on his own bike uh, that he trusts more and checked his own pressures and you know did all that stuff. Uh, throttle uh, very simple here. Anytime you see it, the the line here at the top kind of kind of has a straight line. That's wide open throttle is completely pinned. And then down here, we could see the RPMs. I could see immediately off the top that Jason decided not to redline my bike for this lap. Um, <clears throat> probably because when you're riding somebody else's bike, maybe you don't wanna kinda shift like 2000 RPM, which is exactly what he was doing here, shifting at around 14,000 RPM instead of 16,000. Um, A, because you don't want to um, redline your friend's bike, and you know there is a higher risk of it blowing up and 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 the second reason is i think that he understands uh, consciously or subconsciously that you could do a 49 with without redlining the bike you know especially on a 600 which is what he's riding right now it's all about momentum okay so let's go ahead and take a look at uh my lap uh i have here uh 158 which um is, is again a nice contrast uh, between. So let's take a look at, at roll speeds real quick. So with roll speeds, we could see that I'm in the I'm in the red and he's in the blue. So we could see every, almost everywhere here, and I'll zoom in, that the blue line is at the minimum speed is always higher than the red line. You see that, like for example, right there, the blue line, uh, he's doing 73 miles per hour at the lowest part of the blue line, 
and I'm doing uh, 69 miles an hour. So his roll speed is constantly uh, faster. Even here in the bull, uh, my minimum speed is 70 miles and 71 miles an hour. His minimum speed is 76, so five miles an hour faster. So we could very easily see that just about everywhere that his roll speeds are higher. I mean, take a look at this here in turn five. Um, I get down to 72 miles an hour, and he rolls through it at 78.8 miles an hour. So a good six, seven miles an hour faster. Um, here's another drastic one. For turn three, I slowed down to 66 miles an hour, and uh, he only slows down to 74 miles an hour. So again, like eight miles an hour faster uh, through the mid corner. So let's compare our lean angles, okay? Um, just like in video number one, we could see that the, the lean angles are greater by a faster rider. Uh, they're, they're higher, they peak higher, but also they last longer, okay? So we could see that his lean angles start before mine and, and, and usually will, uh, let me line these up a little bit better. There you go. Uh, his lean angles start start before mine, and they go up higher, and then they they stay at a high lean angle after me. So that means that he leans the bike um, earlier than me, and he picks up the bike later than me. Okay, so that's again kind of like talking about my video number one with the World Superbike Rider. Uh, you know, sometimes we're taught to like, you know, pick up the bike so we can get on the throttle. Again, what I'm seeing with with, with people who are going faster uh, with with better lap times is actually they, they, they get, they spend more time on the side of the tire, right? They'll get to the side of the tire earlier and they'll stay on the side of the tire for a longer period of time where uh, a newer rider just wants to get off the side of the tire, you know, pick up the bike, go to the throttle, do that kind of business where people who are going faster stay on the side of the tire for longer. So let, let's kind of look at that closely. I mean, he'll he'll start leaning into to turn 16, for example, or let's look at uh, turn 15 because it's a very simple turn. Okay. Uh, right around there, uh, right where I'm, Starting to tip in, he's already tipped in. So for me, I'm at zero degree lean angle right there going into turn f uh, 15, and he already starts leaning into eight degrees. And you could see that this whole area right here, he's leaning he, he's leaning way, way before me, and then he gets to a higher lean angle, and then he stayed leaned over after me. And again, into turn 15, he leans earlier than me, gets to a higher lean angle than me, stays at that high lean angle, higher lean angle, coming out of turn 14, and stays in the higher lean angle after me. After me, so I'm actually picking up the bike sooner. But and and technically, sometimes we're taught to do that. But from again, from what I'm seeing, that is the opposite. So again, the bull, he gets into a into he starts leaning the bike before me stays at a higher lean angle and then picks up the bike after me so he stays at lean angles for longer let's keep drilling that down a little bit more again uh, turn 12 he gets into a lean angle uh, before me and he transitions into turn 11 uh, about the same time as me but then he gets into turn 11 before me and we pretty much pick up the bike in kind of a very similar way uh, turn 10, uh, I think he takes a shallower line. He, he leans the bike before me. Uh, he picks it up before me. So he's doing everything here earlier. But turn 8, again, he leans it before me and he stays leaned over after me. So he's leaning the bike for longer. Uh, same exact situation right here. Uh, turn um, s 7. Seven and six, which is kind of one corner here. Uh, he he tips in the bike into a lean angle before me earlier, and he stays at that lean angle uh, after me. Uh, turn five and four complex. Again, he gets into a lean angle earlier, and again, look at here. He's at a lean angle where I'm getting rid of lean angle. He still has more lean angle than me, so he just has more lean angle than me all the time. Here's another great example. Turn three, he leans it earlier than me. Again, if you're kind of confused, the blue line is his. That's lean angles we're looking at, and the red line is mine. So he's le leaning into the corner 
before me earlier gets to a higher lean angle, stays at a higher lean angle than me, and picks up the bike later. So uh, that's pretty uh, interesting right there. Let's look at some throttle applications. Again, let's get rid of my, let's make my lap not visible anymore. And I want to show you something really cool, okay? So let's find out, there, there is a channel, there is a mass channel that I can make. I'm not going to show it to you guys right now, but it's called throttle acceptance. Basically, it means at what lean angle do we get to full open throttle? So let's take a look at, at what lean angle he gets, right? Because when you, let's say you're, you're gonna go into, into turn 15 and um, you know, you're gonna achieve 51, 52 degree lean angle. At that point, you're not gonna be at full throttle, obviously, right? Um, so you get to 50 degree lean angle, 51 degree lean angle, you're maybe off the throttle completely, no brakes, or maybe you have like 10% throttle, just maintenance to carry the roll speed. But as you're picking up the bike, at what point do you get to full open throttle, right? I mean, um, we could wait until we're completely straight up and down, until we reduced all of our lean angle completely to get to full open throttle, or we could start adding throttle as we pick up the bike. But at what point exactly do we get to full open throttle? When I first started learning, it was like, uh, if we're going to lean to 50 degree lean angle, now listen carefully, if we're going to lean to 50 degree lean angle, I was kind of taught to do the safe thing is that as I'm picking up the bike to time it perfectly to get to full open throttle when the bike is straight up and down. So at 50 degrees, I'll have 0% throttle. At 25 degrees, I'll have 50% throttle. And at zero degrees, I'll have 100% throttle. Does that make sense? So everything is timed perfectly. But as we go faster, you'll notice that this is definitely not the case. So let's take a look at what Jason is doing, and then we'll look at what I'm doing, okay? So let's focus on turn 15. It's a great corner because it's very simple. Um, so he'll um, turn 15 is... Actually, let's look at turn 16. Let's look at turn 16. So his max at his max lean angle right there, uh, he reaches 55 degree lean angle with a throttle opening of 7%. So his max lean angle, he chose, and I don't believe that Jason's doing anything on this track by accident, okay? So everything is, a, is, is probably a very conscious decision. He chose to achieve his maximum lean angle at 7% throttle opening. And I'll do a video about why the bike actually turns a little bit better with a cracked open throttle like that. About um, five to 10%, the car, the not the car, the, the motorcycle actually yaws. Uh, that's a new term for you guys. It yaws better with five to 10% throttle. I confirmed this actually with, with some data engineers from Moto2. Uh, they all are kind of seeing the same thing and even one of the engineers from Calyx. Uh, so again, he'll get, to 55 degree lean angle with 7% 7, 7 throttle. And now he's starting to come out at turn 16 and he's reducing lean angle. And as he's reducing lean angle, he's adding the throttle. Do you see this throttle line going up? So as he's reducing lean angle, so right about there, he reduced his lean angle from 52 degrees to 45. And now he's also at 45% throttle. And when he gets to 100% throttle, which is that dot right there, he's at 40% lean angle. Okay, 40 degree, sorry, 40 degree lean angle. So at, a, at, at when he gets to 100% throttle, he does 40 degree lean angle. Let's see if the, if turn uh, 14 is the same, okay? So again, turn 14, his max lean angle is, um, is 47.6 degree lean angle. And as he's coming out of turn 14, he's reducing his lean angle. And at 50% uh, throttle, 54% throttle, he is at 45. So he reduced his lean angle for, from 47 to 45. And then he already got to 54% throttle. And right at this magic area right there where he got to 100%, 100% throttle, 40 degree lean angle. Hmm, this is very interesting. Is it a coincidence that Jason Pridmore gets to 100% throttle at 40 degree lean angle as he's coming off the corners? Hmm, let's find out. Let's go to another interesting turn that is non-cambered. Okay, let's keep let's keep things fair. How does that sound? Okay, let's look at uh, 
coming out, oh, I love this one. Coming out of turn four, okay? Uh, max lean angle is at 49.4 degrees, 7% throttle. Hmm, we saw that a little bit ago, didn't we? Interesting, okay? And he's coming out of turn four and he's reducing lean angle. And at 50% uh, throttle, he's at 45 degree lean angle. So he reduced his lean angle by like four, five degrees, and he added 50% 50, 50 throttle. And when he, this magic point right there, where he got exactly at the moment that he got to full open throttle, he's at 41.7 degrees lean angle. Okay, wow. He keeps doing this. This is very interesting. Okay, so. Let's look at mine. So so we decided that Jason Pridmore gets to a max lean angle, whatever that may be. It's going to be around 50 degrees. And as he's picking up the throttle, okay, he'll get to full open throttle by the time he reduces his lean angle to 40 degrees. Now let's look at my riding. We'll do the same exact thing. Cool. So what did we start with? Turn 16. Perfect. Turn 16, I get to 46.4 uh, degree lean angle with 9% throttle. And I'm picking up the bike and I get to 100% throttle, which is right there. I get to 100% throttle at 26 degrees lean angle. Okay. So I waited to get rid of more lean angle before I was willing to open the gas all the way. Let's keep looking. Let's see. I'm kind of a sissy, but at least let's find out if I'm a consistent sissy. Because then I'll feel better. Okay. Uh, turn 14, I get to a 46 degree lean angle and I get to wide open throttle at 22 degree lean angle. Okay. Let's keep looking. Let's look at turn, Ooh. oh, let's look at turn eight. Turn eight, I get to 45 degree lean angle and I get to full throttle at 31 degree lean angle. So we're already finding out that I am a sissy and I'm not consistent. So maybe I should, uh, you know, learn how to knit or something instead. Anyway, uh, turn four, I get to a max lean angle of 45.6, and I get to full open throttle at 24 degree lean angle. Okay, so we're seeing the, the very obvious thing here that um, Jason Pridmore, just like the world superbike rider, he gets to full open throttle um, earlier without reducing as much lean angle. Uh, I know you guys are curious, so, so let's just kind of almost end this video and let's just get to that world. Let's go back to the world superbike rider at Chakwala. Uh, let's take a look. There it is. Let's see what he does. Because this, this is interesting. This is an interesting thing right here. So uh, coming out of turn three. Perfect. Let's see what he does. So. Uh, his max lean angle is 49 with 18% uh, throttle. So his max lean angle actually has a lot more gas. And he gets to full open throttle at 45. So he's not a sissy, but let's find out if he's consistent. So full open throttle at 45 degree lean angle. Jason Pridmore was full open throttle at 40 degree lean angle. And I was between 20 and 30. Okay. Uh, coming out of so again, this guys, this is this is clockwise now, okay? So coming out of turn five, uh, max lean angle. You know, let's just look at turn five. Is max lean angle not turn four? Max lean angle turn five is 47, and he'll get to full open throttle at 44 degree lean angle. Let's look at turn coming out of turn seven. Max lean angle is is uh, 50 degree lean angle gets to full open throttle at 43 degree, 43.8. So let's call it 44. <sighs> Turn 10, max lean angle is 52. Full open throttle at 43.6. What else is interesting here? The bowl doesn't count. 
turn 14. Max lean angle is right around here, 47.4 uh, degree lean angle, full open throttle at 41.8. Coming out of turn 15, max lean angle, very nice lean angle here. He, he kind of holds that lean angle for a long time, but max lean angle is about 48 degrees. He gets to full open throttle at 46. And... Uh, Turn 16 is a little bit harder to gauge because we kind of transition to the other side. So, uh, again, uh, my full throttle happens between 20 and 30 degree lean angle. Uh, Jason Pridmore is happening at around 40 degree lean angle very consistently. And World Superbike Rider uh, happens at around, usually at around, let's call it 40, 43 to 45 degree lean angle. That's when he gets to full open throttle. So... I hope I didn't cause any future high sides by this video, but um, it's definitely something to look at. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll do another video and going in a little bit deeper about uh, more of comparing my stuff with Jason Pridmore's writing. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.